Hello viewers, welcome back to section 4, that is modifying documents and reports. In this section, we will look at a few topics. Company report configuration, modifying the internal report header using QWeb, learning how Odoo organizes reports, understanding the report types, creating a new QWeb report in Odoo. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with company report configuration. In this video we are going to take a look at the problems with WK to HTML PDF installation and we'll learn how to specify the paper format for the report. The QWeb template framework is actually far more useful than just for basic reports. The QWeb template is also the main way that all of the website builders and new CMS generate the HTML to create the page. In reports, QWeb works exactly the same way as HTML gets generated, but instead directs the output into a PDF file. When Odoo is first installed, you are presented with the default template that will appear on many of the standard reports. Even if you don't plan to make a lot of major changes to the standard reports in Odoo, it is very likely that you will wish to modify the headers and footers and other parts of your report template to be more specific to your company. To begin editing Odoo headers and footers, log in as an Odoo administrator. Navigate to the Settings menu and click General Settings. Scroll to the bottom and you will find the Report Configuration area. Before we make any changes at all to our reports, let's go ahead and get a look at one of the default reports by clicking Preview Internal Report. Odoo will then process the report into a PDF and allow you to download it in your browser. To HTML PDF installation, go to this link and there are sources in the appendix to learn more about how to install this package so Udo can properly display the PDF file. After the PDF is downloaded, you can view it to see the default internal report. As you can see, the default internal report is extremely basic, with only a simple header and no footer. This report is used as the name suggests for internal reports that will be shared with other employees of the company or perhaps with close contacts to the company such as subcontractors. Now let's take a look at the default external report by clicking Preview External Report. Here we see the header of the external report has quite a bit more information than the internal report. This makes sense, as reports we would distribute to vendors or customers need to have information necessary to know what company the information belongs to. In addition to the report header, external reports also provide footer. By default, the footer provides additional contact information as well as the page count. The first two options in the report configuration settings allow us to change the footer on the external report. Now we will type in the custom report footer, then it will replicate in the report footer. After that, select the paper format as US letter. In this example, we have modified the report footer to display a message that asks anyone who has received the report in error to contact the company through an email address. You can then click the Preview External Report to see how the message will appear on your report. Now in the PDF file, scroll down to see the modified footer which we have added in the Report Configuration box. Now let's specify the paper format for the report. Depending on your specific business requirements, it is possible that you will need to have custom paper formats. Fortunately, Odoo allows you to specify a default paper format as well as indicate which reports should use a given paper format. While you may not need to use this feature, to configure a paper format, simply click the standard edit icon to the right of the paper format drop-down list and you will see the available options. In this example, we can see the custom paper configuration for the holiday summary. Most importantly, notice how the associated reports includes the leaves summary. This is how Odoo can associate a given report with a specific paper size. 